Hey y'all, it's Rosie, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I make my, keyword is my, shrimp and sausage creole. The exact measurements are on my blog, iheartrecipes.com, so head over there if you want the recipe. So let's start off at our stove top, okay? I have my pan here, as you can see. I drizzled in some oil, and once the oil got nice and hot, I added in my onions, and I'm using white onions, but you can use yellow onions. Now we're going to toss in some celery, and then we're going to give everything a nice stir. And once they get nice and translucent, we can start adding in our tomatoes. Now these are the tomatoes that I decide to use because they're nice, sweet, and colorful, and I just love them. If you have a different tomato, um, you can use that. Or should I say, if you have a different preference of tomatoes, you can use that. So once the tomatoes start to cook down some, I'm going to start adding in some fresh minced garlic. And let's add that in right now. And then we can move to our next step. And that's going to be first stir it up and then we are going to start adding in some tomato sauce. And the tomato sauce that I have, it has some basil and garlic in it. You can certainly use regular tomato sauce. So now I'm going to pour in some chicken broth. Once that chicken broth is in there, give everything a nice stir. And then we're going to add a couple dashes of Worcestershire sauce or however you say it. Don't waste your time trying to uh, correct me because I never get it right. And now I'm going to add a couple dashes of hot sauce, okay? So once that's in there, stir. And now we can start adding in some seasonings. Now I'm going to use some kosher salt, black pepper, and thyme, as well as some other stuff. But you also want to make sure you add in some red pepper flakes because shrimp creole is supposed to be nice and spicy. So let's add that in now. Now if you don't like spice, it's okay, you can leave it out, but I think it's really important for shrimp creole to have some red pepper flakes. So now everything is in there. We're going to let this sauce simmer for about 20 minutes, and then we'll start adding in our sausage, okay? So I will be using andouille sausage. Mine is frozen while it's going in because it's easier for me to cut the links while frozen, but you can have yours thawed out. We're going to let this simmer, or the sausage simmer in the sauce for about 15 minutes, and then we're going to start adding in our shrimp. And my shrimp is uncooked, as you can see, peeled and deveined. And once the shrimp is in there, turn the heat off completely and then you'll let this sit for about five minutes. And you know what? Now you're ready to serve. I'm going to be serving this with some hot and steamed rice. Hot and steamed rice. It's supposed to be hot steamed rice. That sounds better, right? And now, you know what? I'm good. So in addition to the rice, you can have some cornbread or, you know, whatever. But I think the rice works great. But don't forget, if you want the exact measurements, head over to my blog, iheartrecipes.com.